This video provides information on Virtual Network Editor in Workstation. The video is based on Knowledge Base Article 101-8697. Let the VM be in a powered on status. Now to modify existing Virtual Network Adapters, before you begin modifying the Virtual Network Adapters, determine the network type you want to assign. To modify existing Virtual Network Adapters, select the Virtual Machine, choose VM and then select Settings. Now, on the hardware tab that you get, select the adapter to modify. Select the network type to use. You can change the device status and network connection type. You can configure the network adapter in the following modes. First one, bridge mode, which is connected directly to the physical network. NAT, which is used to share the host IP address. Host only, which is a private network shared with the host. Custom specified virtual network. Although VMNet 0, VMNet 1, and VMNet 8 are technically available in this menu, they are usually used for bridge, host only, and NAT configurations respectively. You must perform another procedure to make them available for use in custom configurations. So click OK. Now let's see how to add a network adapter. From the workstation menu, select VM, then select settings, the Virtual Machine Settings window is launched, which will list the hardware of the Virtual Machine. Choose the option Add, and you would notice that Add Hardware Wizard appears. Choose Network Adapter from the list and click Next, which will lead you to configure the network adapter in the various modes and its status. Click on Finish. Once you're done with this, you would see the newly added network adapter listed in the hardware. Click on OK. This will save the virtual machine state. Add or remove a host network adapter from the list of included adapters. On host systems with multiple physical network adapters, the choice of which adapter workstation uses is arbitrary. Therefore, you can place or remove restrictions on a network adapter of your choice. To add or remove a host network adapter from the list of included adapters, again, in the workstation menu, select Edit and then click on Virtual Network Editor. Check mark the option, Connect a host virtual adapter to this network. You will see the host connection as connected. Click Apply, which will start updating the network configuration and loads the configuration. Now we'll see how to change DHCP settings. Choose Edit, Virtual Network Editor, and select a network adapter of your choice. Check mark the Use local DHCP service to distribute IP address to VMs and click on DHCP settings. You should modify only the third number in the IP address, for example, X in 192.168.x.0 or 198.16.x.0. In general, do not change the subnet mask. Certain virtual network services might not work as, as well with a customized subnet mask. Click Apply will stop the DHCP service and start the DHCP service and loads the network configuration. Now we'll see how to configure the NAT adapter. Once again, from the workstation menu, choose Edit and then select Virtual Network Editor. The NAT device is connected to the VMNet 8 virtual switch. Virtual machines connected to the NAT network also use the VMNet 8 virtual switch. Select VMNet 8 and click on NAT settings. Specify the gateway IP. Now, clicking on Add will give you an option to map incoming port. Specify the host port, virtual machine IP address, and virtual machine port. You can add a description as well. Click on OK. We can configure the DNS settings by choosing the DNS settings. The NAT device is a DNS proxy and forwards DNS requests from the virtual machines to a DNS server that the host knows. Responses return to the NAT device, which then forwards them to the virtual machines. Choose NetBIOS settings to configure NetBIOS. The NetBIOS section applies to Windows host only. Linux does not use this section. Click OK and click Apply will stop the NAT service and restart the NAT service and loads the network configuration.